and welcome to Substance Abuse Prevention Advocacy Day, a step-by-step -step guide webinar. Brought to you by Voices for Prevention, the Council on Alcohol and Drugs, and the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities. Substance Abuse Prevention Advocacy Day is Thursday, February 21st from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. This event will take place at the Sloppy Floyd Building in the Floyd Room on the 20th floor of 200 Piedmont Avenue Southeast in Atlanta. So what exactly is Prevention Day? Prevention Day is an opportunity for anyone, adult or youth, who is passionate about substance abuse prevention and wants to learn more about prevention advocacy and policy education. Stakeholders from across the state will get together and discuss various substance abuse and or issues related to substance abuse prevention. Attendees will have the opportunity to network with others who are interested in the same prevention issues they are. Prevention Day is also a great time to schedule a meeting with your legislator and speak with them about what's going on in your community. Here are a few tips to help you prepare to talk to your legislator. Number one, be personal. Tell them a little bit about yourself. Be sure to advise them if you live in their district and try to connect your talking points to your personal story. Number two, provide data. If possible, provide at least one piece of data that will support your point of view. Don't drown them in data. You can always provide them with a short brief on your topic. Select one key piece of data that will help sell your point of view. Number three, be focused. Remember, they only have a few minutes to share with you, so stay on topic. Also, don't let the legislator change the subject. Be polite, but be firm. Number four, be positive. You may not agree with the stand your legislator is taking on a particular issue, but it is important to not burn any bridges. Remember, your goal is to have a long-term relationship. Number five, make the ask. Don't leave without asking them to support your issue. And always ask them if they have any questions or need any additional information. Number six, end the meeting. Be sure not to stay too long and always thank them for their time and for their attention. So just who all should attend Substance Abuse Prevention Advocacy Day? You should, along with your coalitions, Community Prevention Alliance work groups, and your community partners, such as Youth, Parents, Law Enforcement, Schools, Businesses, Media, youth-serving organizations, religious and fraternal organizations. Also welcome civic and volunteer groups, health care professionals, state, local, and tribal agencies with expertise in substance abuse, and other organizations involved in reducing substance abuse. Registration begins at 9.30. When you arrive, you will have to present your ID at the front desk in the lobby. Make sure you bring your driver's license or other photo ID, and also be prepared for a bag check upon entering the building. At the 20th floor, you will follow the arrow to the Floyd Room. 
If you've pre-registered, you will go to the pre-registered table and sign in. If you haven't pre-registered, you will go to the on-site registration table and fill out the registration form. Volunteers will then give you your information folder and will let you know which table you've been assigned to. If you are a leader for a youth action team, you can sign in for your team. The youth do not have to sign in individually. A kickoff event will take place from 10 to 11.30. You will be assigned to a table based on the substance or topic that you chose at registration. Some of the topics being discussed at the kickoff include alcohol, tobacco and vaping, prescription drugs and opioids, marijuana, and prevention funding. Attendees will have the opportunity to network at their tables and go over the talking points for their chosen substance or topic. Each table will have a group facilitator available to give tips on how to speak to your legislator. And don't forget, boxed lunches will be provided at the kickoff. But we're not ready for lunch yet. First, we'll need to discuss some of those table topics. Underage drinking is a serious problem in Georgia. Alcohol is still the number one drug used by youth in Georgia and the United States. More than 150 of Georgia's youth die each year from alcohol-related causes. Young people who began drinking before age 15 are four times more likely to develop alcohol dependence than those who began drinking at age 21. Tobacco use and smoking do damage to nearly every organ in the human body often leading to lung cancer, respiratory disorders, heart disease, stroke, and other illnesses. Nearly 25% of high school students in Georgia smoke. E-cigarettes are now the most frequently used tobacco product among adolescents. Some 2.1 million middle and high school students were e-cigarette users in 2017. In the U.S., more than 11.5 million people reported misuse of prescription pain medicine in 2016, and prescription drug use has reached epidemic levels in Georgia. Prescription opioids can be prescribed by doctors to treat moderate to severe pain, but can also have serious risks and side effects and friends and family are the source of 70% of prescription drugs that are abused. Marijuana is the most commonly used illegal drug in the United States, with 37.6 million users in just the past year alone. Marijuana affects brain development, particularly when people begin using as teenagers and about 1 in 10 marijuana users will become addicted. For people who begin using before the age of 18, that number rises to 1 in 6. Okay, now we can get to that lunch. You'll have an opportunity to visit with legislators from 1145 to 1245. For this portion of the day, attendees will walk to the Capitol, but don't worry, it's right across the street. Ideally, you will have made an appointment with your legislator prior to Substance Abuse Prevention Advocacy Day. But if not, you can still fill out forms in the Senate and House Chamber hallways to ask your Senator or Representative to meet you at the Senate and House ropes.
You may meet others at the kickoff and form groups to visit the same legislator. This is a great opportunity to share the talking points you discussed at the kickoff. Finally, there will be a rally at the south wing of the Capitol from 1 to 2 p.m. This is where you will have the opportunity to hear from a variety of speakers, including Travis Fretwell from the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities, Donna Dent, also from the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities, Representative Sharon Cooper, Senator Renee Unterman, Representative Stephen Sands, and Attorney General Chris Carr. We would love your help promoting this event in your community. Like us on Facebook and share our posts on your social media pages. You can also find a copy of our press release at www.v4pga.org. Thank you for being part of our webinar. We are looking forward to seeing all of you at Substance Abuse Prevention Advocacy Day 2019.